Alrighty, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra. What do you know? Um, we finally get to take a look-see at the new classes. Um, the new patch isn't fully out yet for Killing Floor 2, but they did release, like, a preview of the upcoming patch, and we get to play as Firebugs and Demolition Man and check out some of the new maps, like Evacuation Point. So, I'm going to start out with, uh, my favorite, uh, class in the game, which is the Firebug. Um, I've been waiting for it very patiently, and we are going to go do the stuff with the things. Um, I, I don't really know what they start with, but, uh, I'm guessing it's probably pretty delicious. So, here we are, and I started out with... what is this? Oh, it's, uh, it's a miniature flamethrower that is powered by a pair of, uh, hairspray things. Alright, that's pretty cool. And I guess this guy, whoever is this Tosa guy, is, is actually one of the server admins. So, um, let's see what we got up here. We've got this new evacuation point map with some... Oh, we got some, some ammo back here. It looks like we're in, like, the middle of a subway hub, where there's, like, a mixture of, like, bus lines that kind of converge. And also, like, oh, uh, Barso Coffee, the ripoff of Subway with, like, a teddy bear face. Alright, that's pretty cool. I'm down to clown with that business. And we'll light these guys on fire. Get them nice and- ooh! And they added all the crisping animations. Oh, hell yes. Oh, that- oh, yes. Come here, guys. I got plenty of fun for everyone. Alright, so I'd imagine for the other weapons that we get as a firebug is probably, um, like the trench gun that we had in the first game, which I'm super excited to see. Uh, the trench gun was basically like a, a crappier version of a shotgun, and it fired rounds that lit stuff on fire on contact with stuff. Now, the trouble with Firebug, I'm gonna guess right now, is that it's gonna be kind of a pain in the ass to fight over last hits. And so, hopefully, uh, the way that the score works for that is it goes by how much damage you dealt. If you did most of the damage, you get the kill. So let's, fr let's deep fry this bloat here. There we go. Excellent. I do like a nice, crispy bloat. Um, that is my favorite flavor of bloat. I don't necessarily recommend bloats, they're not the best for your figure. But, uh, this is actually kind of a cool map. It's like you gotta walk over here at the top. One of the things that was always nice about the Firebug, too, was it was always an extremely efficient class for, uh, ammunition consumption. So you only kind of have to spritz a creature once, and it gets all crisped up, which means it walks slower and reacts slower. And also, it'll probably slowly bleed to death. Or, in this case, burn to death. So that's pretty cool. I like it. And this map is looking pretty tasty. Let's come up here and get some free delicious bacon. Ooh, what is this? We have a cock- oh, that's what it's called. We have a cock and burn. So it's like a pair of cock guns tied together. And we have a fireman's knife. Ooh, and our our grenades are Molotov cocktails. They're not just incendiary grenades anymore. No, that makes perfect sense, actually. I dig that business. All right. So, let's see. Where else can we go in this evacuation map? I guess up and around the corner. See what we have to play with. I am just doing this, uh on regular difficulty with these folks, because I kind of want to run around and gawk and see what there is to see. Like, ooh, we have, like, a boat here. Two scan lines. So we can buy, like, boat tickets here. So I guess this is just, like, a major transportation hub. Somewhere in probably, like, the center of Britain or France. One of those countries. They certainly, um go and adventure all over the maps of Europe for this game. So it'll be interesting to see um, if they ever add a storyline that kind of accentuates that fact. 
Because I think the the default story right now is our characters are like eco protesters who have uh, taken it upon themselves to kill these weird weapons of war in the form of Zeds and stuff. So we got more coffee over there. What do we got over here? Da -da 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 -da. Oh, got some crawlers coming. That's cool. Um, I'm gonna go man the stairs here. See who I can go meet on the speed dating table. Um, hi. We've got a... What you call it there, a gore fest. Ooh. This is like shooting fireworks. That's kind of cool. I wonder if trench guns are an actual thing, or if that's more of like a feature of this game. Because I couldn't believe like trench warfare invented a gun that would light people on fire during World Wars 1 and 2. Like, I definitely could believe that. Um, as to its real world effectiveness, I have no idea, but in this game, it's certainly cool. You can kind of just shoot the ground near stuff, and it just delivers saucy flames to all of our compatriots. Hey, Husky Varna, how are you? You having a good day? Let me spritz your friends. Hello, what's up, everybody? Uh oh. That other guy who got assigned as the admin for this map got murdered. That's not good. Ooh, I need to test out my grenades in a second here, too. So we'll pop this bad boy. It's looking like, uh, the... the... what you call it? The trench gun is pretty much just a, as good as, like, a shotgun for close quarters combat. So one of the things that was also really nice about this, I think I already kind of mentioned this, was you can crisp up some of the enemies and make them a lot easier to deal with. So their skin gets all crackly and burnt, and then they have trouble moving around. So it used to be, in the first game, if you were in a really big map and you had a Flesh Pounder, you could get its attention as a firebug and then you wouldn't have to worry about it really killing anyone because you would get it all crispy, and then you could slowly and relaxedly kite it to death and make it all nice and bacony. Which was all right, I guess. Um, yeah, it works pretty well in theory. Let's pop you. There we go. Rising up on the old kill charts. That's what Larry likes to see. Whoa, what the heck? I have been removed from the server. Why was I removed from the server? Well then, that's not very polite. Okay, so after a brief interruption, um, for whatever reason, I got kicked off of that server. I don't think I was griefing anybody. And I think I was pretty much just minding my own business, lighting stuff on fire. But, um, I think it has something to do with the admin of the server who died, and I think he probably kicked everyone off in order to reset it. So. To avoid that, I think we will continue our adventures here in a solo preview, or, uh, playthrough, just briefly, while we take a look at the different stuff that's going on. I'll probably do a bit more in-depth gameplay once this content goes live in the full patch, but right now it's open and available publicly as, like, a beta preview, so we're just gonna check it out. Um, we're playing the Evacuation Point map still which is a giant transport hub of deliciousness. And the other map that I saw was the Catacombs map, and when we play the Catacombs map, I will be previewing the Demolition Man. So that should be pretty delicious. And uh, let's see, I was using the Trench Gun. What other guns do we have available? We've got the Flamethrower, and we've got a Microwave Gun. I have no idea what in the flibbity floop a microwave gun is. But we will certainly find out in a minute or two. So, we have like a cock gun that we can use to spray things with. Or maybe it's a cock gun that's equipped with, uh, hairspray or something. I don't know that I'm aware of any type of cock that you can ignite like a flamethrower. Like, I know industrial adhesives are usually pretty dang flammable, but I, I don't know. I've used a lot of caulk. I've, like, sealed up a log house, like the one I'm living in right now, and, uh, you usually can't use it like that, but I could be wrong, because this is basically like a double-barreled caulk gun, 
that has like a starter torch on the end. So, I also don't know if Dosh Bling has been added to this map yet. That might be something that they're just gonna add when we go into the final release of this patch. Because it would be really easy for people to just go in here and quickly find out how to get that achievement for the Dosh Bling. And then make a video about it, so that like the second the patch hits for the general public, um, the secret is kind of ruined for people. So I don't see any Dosh Bling, but I do want to round up a big pack of zombies and see what... Oh, that's good enough. Oh yeah, that's a pretty cool thing. And it looks like the, f the grenades in this game, as opposed to the last game, they do persist for a little bit, like the, the fire on the ground. I don't think you can light yourself on fire in this game either. So that, I guess, is nice. I feel like that's kind of like a, an important feature from the original, was being able to accidentally light yourself on fire. Because otherwise, the, the firebug seems a little overpowered. Um, I also haven't taken a moment to look at his uh, talents. So what does his talents look like? We've got... Can I... Oh, here we go. So we've got some... Can it start with more ammo, or have a better Molotov cocktail, spice, ooh, spicy. A nice slow burner, firebug weapons burn effect linger 70% longer, adding damage over time. Heat wave, like a Georgia summer, enemies struck point blank range with fire will stumble back. Okay, some of those abilities seem pretty cool, let's go find us the vendor up here in the subway station. Oh, this is really up here. Alright, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure what the deal was with that last server. Um, I was rising up on the kill, uh, score to about the point I am now, with something like 47 kills, and then all of a sudden that Zor guy just kicked my ass off the server, so very rudely. So, I don't know what his deal is, why he's gotta be so rude. But, that is what it is. I can play single player. Those random guys don't really have any control over that. Unfortunately, there aren't a lot of servers out for this little beta preview. Because you have to separately download that version of Killing Floor and upload it to your server. But, uh, you know, that won't stop Larry. And hey, we can even go down into the subway tunnels and fight things. Oh, hell yes. Or, no, this isn't the subway. This is just, uh... A bus shipping route. Alright, that's pretty cool. So, I need to equip this other weapon. And is this back where we spawned? It is. So this is... This is a different map, that is for sure. Oh, and that was like inside the bowels of a boat. Alright, that's kind of neat. Alrighty. Let's give everyone a nice little uh, fire bath. Get them all squeaky clean. Nothing like cleansing the world with fire, as Larry always says, to really get the blood pumping, and in this case, literally boiling. Ooh, I got a free samurai sword, a katana. We don't have the martial artist yet, and that is the character that will be using the, uh, like the katana and the other sort of, like, Asian weapons. So, like, it's like, uh, I'm probably sure they'll have something like nunchucks and brass knuckles and other stuff like that that they can play around with. So that should be neat to see. But what I am really looking forward to is that microwave gun that we have access to now. That sounds pretty dang good to me. So let's sell this shotgun and this katana. And I'll probably keep the default thing. Oh! Can I... How, oh, I have plenty of fucking money. Forget that. I'm buying the good shit. I'm buying this microwave gun. Look at this thing! Oh my god, it's got a space-age sight? Oh, it's a laser gun! Uh, you other peasants don't even understand with your crappy classes that Larry has got himself a laser rifle. Oh, yes. Mmm. Say it ain't so, Captain America. So while we're waiting, let's see what else we've got here. Zed goes boom. Any Zed killed by fire weaponry has a 50% chance to explode. Oh, hell yes. 
So this is the type of talent that I've been waiting for in Killing Floor. Crazy um, ability effects that... So this one causes Zeds to explode, damaging everything nearby. And this one makes them, if they're really tightly clumped, you can spritz one and they will spread the fire to all their friends. Oh, that is awesome. And then we got increased range, some extra splash damage, Zed time, combustion. Shrapnel plus napalm equals combustion, sort of. Any Zed that dies from your fire weapons in Zed time will explode into a fireball, setting anything in the explosion on fire. Well, what do you know? That is some pretty sweet stuff. Why would you drop a default gun? Can you dual wield those? Oh, you know what? I'll bet that's in preparation for the marksman here. Because they're, they're gonna have two... Well, not the marksman, the, the gunslinger, because they're gonna have two gun classes in Killing Floor. There's gonna be the marksman, which is the sniper class, and then there's also going to be the gunslinger, which... Oh, wow, that thing just deep fries their organs and makes them explode. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Sir Bob. Did they do something to the Scrake's arm? They look differenty. Well, either way. There we go. Oh, shit, I'm stuck on the boat. Let's, uh, let's try out our new gun on the Scrake. Whoa, everything exploded. Everything exploded into goo. Okay. Let me throw down my, uh, my fu Oh, hi, buddy. How are you? Having a good day, are we? Why am I stuck in the corner? Whoa, this, this gun is amazing. It just vaporized that Scrake. Oh my god. Dude. This thing is my new favorite gun! Holy shit! They like, they start to balloon, and then they explode. Oh shit, okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, settle down, buddy. I need you to settle it down. Let's uh, light your ass on fire, a bit. And what- How much damage can this guy take? Oh! Did you just see me just one-up that frickin- oh my gosh! This is the most overpowered gun right now! Oh man! That just turned that Flesh Pounder into a strawberry smoothie. That was absolutely amazing. This is my new favorite gun. This is it. This is the thing. This is my new favorite. So... Now that we've got some cash, why don't- well... Never mind, we can't afford the other flamethrower, but soon, soon, my pretties, soon we shall have the better flamethrower and a microwave attached to my arm. A microwave oven converted into a gun. This has got to be the coolest thing. It is a basically a straight-up laser rifle that fills the enemy with so much gloop that they have no choice but to flipping explode. And next, next episode, we are going to go over and we are going to explore the Demolitionist, which should be pretty swaggy, if I don't say so myself. Oh, look at this guy. He is crispy, his man boobs are just crunchy. Ugh. I wouldn't want to be that guy right now. So let's see what the main, like, front entryway of the seafaring sharp lines looks like. Got some gurney covered in- ah, what? Oh, hi, ladies. Are you feeling pulpy? Because I'm feeling Pulp Fiction-y right now. Um, you know, I never really understood the movie Pulp Fiction. I always got bored every time I tried to- oh, hi. Oh, double the fun with double the freshness of double douche gum. Ugh, get out of here, you assholes. At least this thing can clear a room really fast. Alright, I gotta get out of here. There's two- Flesh Pounders here. What, what, what happened to my- Oh, I accidentally changed my class. Oopsie. Oopsie poopsie. Oh, and I've run out of- I gotta change my ammo clip. Explode, explode, there we go. I gotta change my, uh, class back to demo- to Firebug from Demolition Man. Alright. So. That was almost bad there for a sec. Whoa, hi, Miss Lady. What the hell? What the hell just happened there? 
What happens if I just spritz them with it? Do they just kind of slowly explode over time? I don't know. I can't seem to be able to spritz them. And this thing pretty much one-shots everything. Wow, look at this. This is this is probably gonna get nerfed before the full release. This is just ridiculous. Oh wow. Look I just feel bad for using this now. Not super bad because these Zeds are pricks, but that is cool. That is pretty flippin' neat. We got a free varmint gun. Oh wait, no, we can't carry anything else. Uh-oh. Spaghettios. That is not a good thing. I actually don't know if we'll be able to carry the improved flamethrower alongside this one. But we will certainly figure that out in a moment. But I'm not gonna stay in this building. This building is like death for spawns, basically. So let's sell the poopy flamethrower. I can't carry both of them. That is really not the best. That's really disappointing. But we'll we'll demo this flamethrower for a round. Because I think we can handle um flesh pounders with just this variety of flamethrower. Maybe. Um, so what is the difference? This one kind of shoots a little further, it looks like, and I think it does a little bit more damage. Also, its clip size is bigger, so you have to reload a little bit less. Alright, that's kind of cool. And I guess after this wave, we'll probably call our quits for this preview. We're taking a look at Evacuation Map and the Firebug today. So I hope you've enjoyed this so far. And tomorrow, we will take a look at the Demolition Expert, which should be pretty flippin' nifty. So, let us have us a look-see. We got 34 critters that have spawned, including some Invisibitches. We'll crisp up this siren here. I do like the ladies crispy. So, ladies, if you're shaking that booty at Larry, always remember to put on a little bacon grease for Larry. Mmm, super sexy. And we'll light up this or Gorefast. Crisp up these husks and this bloat in a second if he d oh, he barfed on us. How rude. We'll just get them extra crispy. They seem to really freak out when they're on fire, too. I guess that's actually probably pretty good, because you want them to kind of be CC'd by the fact that they're literally on fire a bit. Although, these are like genetically modified people clones, so... I'm not entirely certain how much they feel pain, to be honest with you. Clearly, the Flesh Pounders just kind of exist in their own little realm of pain and hatred for the rest of humanity. Oh, really? Siren Lady? That was just rude. You know what I should test in the next map is whether or not they fixed the... Um, the AI on the Scrake, so you can't just kite them around in a poopy circle for, like, a freaking hour. So here comes the Flesh Pounder, which may or may not end poorly. So we'll make sure he stays crispy and on fire. Well, alright, are you... Uh, he's not dead, which is not a good thing. Oh, how do... Oh, shit, I'm stuck in a corner. Shit, 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 go away, go away. Ow. No way. Okay, apparently this is not very good for killing things. This other flamethrower is not the best, admittedly. And I'm having trouble killing even one Flesh Pounder with it. Um, so I'm getting the hell out of Dodge, to be honest. So I guess that's where we'll end off with this one, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining me, checking out the Firebug. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And damn, that microwave gun. Super fucking badass. Jeez. I want me some of that, like, right now. So later, guys. Toodaloo!